The all-new 2022 Honda Civic is the best Civic ever, and the hatchback is no exception. Built on a new chassis, it raises the bar in design, sophistication, fun-to-drive spirit, fuel efficiency, and safety performance. Let's take a look behind the scenes and discover what engineers and designers intended for the new hatchback. To me, it's just, it's the most important car that we have. The challenge was this, how do you improve upon this? And the whole idea is we always want to bring a breath of fresh air. I love the look. I love the design. I, like, I love the design of the overall new 11th Gen City. So let's search for those design attributes that are kind of timeless, and let's bring them and do a modern interpretation. So it was all about being thin and light, and then also having an expansive greenhouse to kind of give you that airy feeling. So the designers took inspiration from some of the vehicles in Europe. We didn't really want that flat hatchback design. We were looking for more of a coupe-like silhouette and kind of a fastback design to the car. So the hinges in the current car look kind of more in the middle. So for the new car, we actually were able to move the hinges out. So we were able to preserve the headroom, but we're also to give it that really cool, like fastback design in the back. That was kind of the overall inspiration in the back to give it a really sporty, kind of aggressive look to that back, but also be able to maintain the functionality. The big difference between the sedan and the hatchback is the hatchback has more of a mesh grille. And also you notice the hood doesn't come down over quite as much, so it's a little bit flatter on the front, so it gives a little more aggressive look. The overall look of the 2022 Honda Civic hatchback is achieved with attention to the smallest detail, and it shows. Also on the hatchback, we have standard reflectors behind the headlights are black on all the trims. Um, again, then when you go around to the back on the sport touring, you will have the the dual exhaust outlets. Also on the, on the hatchback, what you'll notice is there's that on the tail light, there's the bar extends across. And what that does is it really makes the, the hatchback look lower and wider than the sedan would. But again, it's an impression that the hatchback is more planted and makes it look more aggressive, makes it look more muscular. So the wheels look bigger because it really accentuates that really strong character line that goes from front to back. And it also gives a really strong surface tension and really cranking brings an athletic body to the car. So the LX will have 16-inch alloy wheels. And that's different than the four-door. The four-door has 16-inch steel wheels with wheel covers. Then you move to the Sport where you get the 18-inch alloy wheels, and that's both four-door and the hatchback. Um, when you move to the EXL, then you have the 17-inch alloy wheels. And then when the Sport Touring, you also have 18-inch alloy wheels. So a real nice wheel package on the car. The tires on the Pacific hatchback are all season. And that just makes it easier for, for customers because of inclement weather. We actually added additional legroom in the back, so we added about 1.4 inches of rear legroom. We also tilted the rear seats back slightly, about a one degree, so it allows you to have a little bit more comfortable seat in the back. I mean, it's very subtle things, but it actually makes the rear seats more comfortable. We added the rear window in the back, so it actually brings in some more light, so you don't feel as claustrophobic in the back. We've added a little bit more shoulder and hip room, and that's a result of being able to tilt the seat back and also expanding the wheelbase on the car. So there's some really nice packaging that goes along with the car. We didn't really make it bigger, but it feels more expansive than, than the uh, current car. It's, it's kind of a piece that sits kind of off to the side and you can take it and then slide it over and then hook it in. And the beauty of it is, is you can actually pull it out. Very easy to do to give you additional functionality. So it's not in the way. Already the benchmark for its combination of fun to drive personality and excellent fuel economy ratings, the 11th generation Civic takes it to the next level with changes to both available engines. From a powertrain standpoint, uh, similar to the four-door, we offer two powertrains. We have the two-liter, and then we also have the 1.5 turbo. So for the two-liter, it's 158 horsepower, 138 pound-feet of torque. That is on the LX and the Sport. For the EXL and the Sport Touring, that's where we get the 1.5 turbo, which is 180 horsepower and 177 pound-feet of torque. But the torque does go up from 160 to 177, so we improve the torque. The great news about the hatchback is we give a manual transmission and it's available on each of the powertrains. So you get available manual transmission on the Sport 2.0 and it's also available on the top trim, the Sport Touring. And the great news about the manual transmission is we already have probably the best manual transmission in the industry. The Sport 
and Sport Touring are the only trims that come standard with the drive mode button. So you do have the Sport button that you can push forward to get a little bit more spirited driving. You know, everybody raves about it. And then we've actually made improvements, so it's actually a little quicker, a little smoother. When it comes to the automatic transmission, we've actually improved the overall shift. So it's more like a traditional transmission where when you accelerate, it shifts more naturally like you would see in a, say, a six-speed automatic. And then downshifting, it actually downshifts quicker. So when you go into corners, it actually then you can get more response coming out of them. Firm to the ground and reactive was accomplished under the skin for a sporty ride. It's all about the driving dynamics of the car. So rigidity, when you go in and you start to go through into a corner, you want that car to do exactly what you want it to do and it really holds the corners well. And it keeps the tires planted on the, on the ground too. So there's a lot of um, extra reinforcements, um, extra rigidity, a lot of things that are done to improve the overall handling and dynamics of the car from that respect. Safety is, a, is one of our top priorities. Honda Sensing is standard, as we were in the sedan, it's standard on the hatchback. So you get the entire suite of the technology. You get a, just a full array of feature content. We do have the four trims on the hatchback. We have the LX, we have the Sport, we have the EXL, which is different than the sedan. The sedan is an EX, so the EXL actually gives leather and a power seat. So that's the difference between the sedan and the hatchback. And then of course you have the Sport Touring. So the, the really cool thing is you, when you got the LX, you have things like standard CarPlay Android, you got a standard seven inch touch screen, standard push button start. So really, really well equipped car. You know, Auto AC is in the car. When you step up to the Sport, that's where you really get that visual impact. So you get the 18 inch black LR wheels, you get the black mirrors, you get the black window surround, really nice, cool exterior accents that really give it that kind of extra like pop, especially for that young buyer that's really looking for something more sporty. When you get to the interior, of course, that's when you have the combi seat, um, you get the sport button that's included with the car, the aluminum pedals. As you move up to the EXL, of course it has leather, that's where you get a moonroof on the car, it also adds a blind spot uh, monitor on it. And then when you step up to the sport touring, um, on both the sedan and the hatchback, that's where you get pretty much everything. We include things like the power passenger seat. We have the Bose premium audio system with 12 speakers, which is fantastic. It really is, you know, something for the young buyers, something that they really appreciate. And the, and the Bose audio system sounds fantastic. And it was engineered specifically with Bose for the car itself. So they've got the surround sound. So you actually sound like you're in the middle of a concert. So you get the sound, no matter where you sit in the car, you get the same overall listening experience. You also get wireless charging. Uh, you get the wireless CarPlay and Android. You get the parking sensors. Two new colors round out an exciting lineup. We actually have the Boost Blue, which was a Type R color. And then we also have a new color that'll be a little late. That's a Smoky Mauve, which is kind of a purplish color. That's also a brand new color to the Civic lineup. The style is really fantastic. The functionality's great. And then when you couple that with the overall driving dynamics, which are just amazing, um, when you throw in all of our safety, you know, the whole Honda Sensing suite of safety. So you got safety, you got great driving dynamics, great fuel economy. Um, the, it's just a total package that's just amazing. So I think that's really the key story there is you can have your cake and eat it too, because it is just fun functional, and it's just great, especially for young people that are active. So I just think it's a, I think it's a home run.